Hey, what's up guys? This is I Sith Kills, otherwise known as Nick, and today we're going to be talking about House of Dragon, uh, which is a Game of Thrones prequel that just came out today, and the first episode, only one episode only. And my first impressions, and this is going to be a spoiler review, so if you haven't seen it, I want to see it before uh, watching this in its entirety. But uh, my first impressions of it is it's, it's got me drawn in a little bit. Uh, this episode did a really good job in establishing each character um, that it's introduced so far. Um, and you kind of feel um, that they did a really good, I mean, when you watch it, you kind of feel like they did a really good job in kind of um, explaining their motivations. Uh, kind of almost clearly the first episode, especially when it comes to uh, the king's brother, um, he looks, he's, you know, looks like he has a pretty, you know, sound mind, might be a little bit sadistic, um, to the, uh, daughter of the king, uh, which, I don't know, to me right now, she kind of, my first impressions of her is kind of like a mixture of Jon Snow and, uh, Daenerys, um, a little bit of the, you know, good hearted, she doesn't really want to rule, um, She's kind of fine where she's at. Um, she loves her family, loves her father. And this episode kind of hits you strong uh, emotionally because uh, the king, you know, his uh, wife is pregnant and they're hoping to have another, you know, obviously they're going to have another kid, but they're hoping to have a son uh, so they can have another heir. And you find out here earlier in the episode that the king has some boils uh, in his back. Just one boil, but it's infected. So you're kind of wondering where that's going to go. Um, but uh, in the middle of the episode, the wife's in labor. And unfortunately, uh, she's not doing well. And they decide to do a C-section, which is basically killing her. And the king is the one that makes the decision. He would rather try to save the baby than to lose them both. And it's a very brutal scene. But, uh, um, I mean, that kind of thing happens today. But obviously, since they don't have the medications and medicines, uh, obviously they weren't able to save either because the baby doesn't survive. And... Ultimately, the, the princess, who doesn't really want to rule, is chosen over the brother, who's shown to be very kind of sadistic immediately. Um, he was put in control of the, of the city watch and immediately sends out soldiers to, I mean, send a message. But this message was very, very violently said. I mean, he, he goes and cuts hands off. I mean, one scene, I think they cut somebody's balls off, it looks like. I was like, this is not a message. This is like almost nearly killing people. But so I kind of don't understand why he did that just yet. I mean, I, I mean, what from what they said in the episode, it was more just trying to send a message. But it's a very very strong way to send a message, especially when you're first command of the, of the city watch and that's the message you're sending. But maybe uh, they'll elaborate that on that a little bit. Um, see if they, maybe the citizens were uprising. I don't know. But I don't think they really talked about it much in the episode. It just kind of suddenly happened. And uh, the king's brother, you know, kind of gets scolded about it. Uh, during the council meeting the next day and you know the, the king's getting told by the hand which is I think Hightower uh, about what happened in the evening and that this might have been a little bit excessive and maybe sending the wrong message and the king kind of agrees with the brother trying to stick up for the brother basically but it's hard to to feel um like on their side about this since you don't really know why you know him going out there and doing that was actually necessary but um so basically kind of the show lets you know immediately why the council doesn't want him to become king so you already have that 
animosity kind of building up between the council and between the families. And, you know, towards the end of the episode, uh, the king comes to terms and chooses his daughter over choosing his, you know, brother as heir and sends his brother off. And they have this uh, ceremony at the end where, you know, each family is, you know, basically uh, vowing their loyalty and they name out two families that everyone's going to recognize obviously right Baratheon and Stark but yeah I mean my first impressions of the show I gotta say of the episode I should say is um, it's got me interested I'm interested in seeing what they do with these characters I thought uh, Matt Smith did really well as uh, the character he's playing which he's playing one of the Targaryens um, I thought he brought some you know very good menacing acting uh, you feel like he's up to something and you feel the animosity building I thought the the person who played the princess who was Millie Alcock I thought she did really well um, I'm kind of already rooting for her, so she has the, I guess she's right for right now, she's a character that has, like, the good heart, that just wants to, you know, do good, it looks like, but we'll see, because that's what I thought about Daenerys, and God knows what happens there, um, and Matt Smith, I mean, he's, he's playing that character, you know, like the Tyrell type character, so I'm interested to see what's going to happen there. And there's an actor that I haven't seen, that I didn't see in this episode, that I'm actually interested in seeing um, the character that she's going to be playing is Olivia Cook. I guess she's playing a Hightower. So I wonder where or what, you know, she's going to be doing as far as the story and if she's going to be a main character. So, yeah. Um, I guess I like it so far. We'll see where it takes it. Um, where the show goes. Let's hope they don't drop the ball and they learn from their season eight mistakes. Um, I mean, I love Game of Thrones seasons one through five, maybe even six. I guess in the middle of six, maybe seven, that's when it started getting a little shaky. I still enjoyed it, but season eight was just, was just a mess. So, um, but that's my initial thoughts on it, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys did, please hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next one.